Good morning and welcome to another short devotional for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. I want to focus this morning on 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 7 and talk to you about strengthening your faith. You know, if you want God to use you, then you need to strengthen and fortify your faith. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, spend your time and energy in exor- the exercise of keeping spiritually fit. I wonder how many people wake up in the morning thinking, oh boy, I get to exercise today. I certainly don't. <laughs> but I do know that we all need both physical and spiritual exercise. I also know this about exercise. I want the most benefit I can get out of every minute that I have to exercise, whether it's physical or spiritual. To get the most out of our spiritual exercise, practice these four spiritual habits that will help to build and fortify your faith. The first habit is to study the scriptures. Your Bible study needs to be personal. You can't depend on somebody else's study of the Bible to fortify your faith. You have to do it yourself. The Bible said all, says all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we're wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work, 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17. But God's word God's word is our manual for life. If you want to get ready to be used by God, follow the manual. You've got to study God's word. Secondly, read Christian books. Proverbs chapter 19 verse 8 says, do yourself a favor and learn all you can. You can learn a lot when you read good books that help you to grow spiritually. Thirdly, write out your personal testimony. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, always be ready to answer everyone who asks you to explain about the hope that you have. Just like nobody else can study God's word for you. Nobody else can tell your story. There are four parts to a testimony. What your life was like before you came to Christ, how you realized you needed Christ in your life, how you committed your life to Christ, and finally, what your life is like now. Those four things make up your testimony. Write it down. And then finally, join a small group or or find a mentor that you will be answerable to. Encourage each other to to build on your on the foundation of your faith. Encourage each other and build one another up. When it comes to building your faith, few things compare to regular contact with other individuals that you're answerable to. If you are not in a a small group or you don't have a, a mentor to meet with, find people you can share life with who will support you as you grow in the faith. Those four habits, study your Bible, read good literature, write out your testimony, join a small group or have a mentor. Those four habits will help you stay spiritually fit so that you are ready 
to be used by God. When will you start practicing one of these things today? God bless. Have a wonderful day. Until we meet again, let's continue to exchange prayers daily.